designing a basement shoring system for a project in, in the city is quite often quite challenging. You're usually dealing with very large projects, but you're also usually dealing with very complex projects. So quite often you might have uh, roadways, bridges, existing buildings, other things surrounding the site. Quite often the site will be very complex in shape as well. The site conditions and ground conditions impact the type of shoring that you might use in almost every site. Um, it's really critical to understand how your soil is going to behave and then choosing the correct shoring system or retention system to suit those conditions. So in a case like this, we can see it's highly rocky conditions. So a lot of the walls are actually unsupported or uncovered and you can actually see the rock face. So that is indicative of a very, very stiff or very hard ground condition. Um, and in that case, you might use a system that doesn't require full coverage of the wall. Um, in other cases, you might use something that is more, um, provides more comprehensive coverage over the fa face of the shoring. Um, and what will usually happen in those cases as well is that you'll find that the shoring has a higher demand on it. The loads are higher. You might find that there's more water present and it's usually more challenging to, I guess, support or shore your excavation. Codes are uniquely placed to handle complex and challenging shoring systems like this because we handle the end-to-end -end process. We take it from the very start from conceptualization right through the total project life cycle to the end of, end of completion, um, ticking off compliance, safety, um, at every step throughout the process. 